Elite's here from Pop Alternative speaking to Alex Pastrana about season seven of Elite, premiere worldwide on Netflix October 20th. Welcome to the show, man. Bienvenido a la entrevista. Ah, thank you, man. I'm so happy to be talking with you. I mean, it's so exciting. I mean, I feel like it's going to be, it was nerve wracking because you're, you joined, you know, a show when it was already established. It was already super popular around the world and everything. What was yeah. that like for you a little bit? It was kind of being like thrown in, right? <laughs> it was it was insane because uh, when I was doing my my acting studies uh, here in Madrid in Studio Coraza, uh, it was when the first season uh, was aired, mm -hmm. and it was this such like a uh, like a success all over the world, and yeah, for us the the people we were studying there, it was like a goal. Like, come on, I want to be. Uh, we want we wanted to be in that TV show at some point because uh, all the, the 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 people that it reached uh, all over the world and yep. stuff. So it was like always like a goal, but at the same time it felt like so far away because I mean it was like very well known all over the world. But you know when I got the audition, uh, I mean it was like the first step of this dream, like to be just auditioning because it was like six season. I tried to audition for second third fourth fifth and like i don't know it was impossible and yeah ever since i mean it's been like a dream every and day, yeah. it's interesting because i feel like that happens a lot right where characters join and like like actors join shows that are already established and you know yeah. there was there were, they were in talks to maybe audition for other characters and everything in prior seasons i always thought that was really interesting um the ensemble cast like there's a lot of characters in elite like there's a lot of cast and you got to work with some incredible people what yes. is that like going and filming and especially with raul like there is some kind of cross paths with a lot of characters not just one or two you know what i mean yeah well i I mean, uh, one day you're like watching these incredible actors uh, on the screen and the, the next day you are in the in same room with them, like working together, going to rehearsals, like going through all this stuff, all, all this journey that the, the that your character does. Mm -hmm. And this is like still like very like, I don't know, it's super fun and super everything. Like be working with some of your idols mm -hmm. and especially this season, as you may know, like... Um, it joins uh, Anita, yep, the the Brazilian singer. That she's like amazing and crazy. And there's and some also, returns too, right? There's some returning. Cats. Yeah, there's some returns. So Mara Yuso, uh, and also we got like this uh, incredible Spanish actress Maribel Verdú. So it's yeah. been like a dream, like to be like working uh, with this uh, with this kind of actors and actresses. It's a uh, it's like a dream. And yeah, the only thing is that Raúl is play uh, is this bad guy he's a, he's a bad guy bad. he's a bad person he's a bad person so yeah yeah that's that's hard sometimes i gotta tell you is it was there do you think about it much preparation wise or do you just kind of do your thing and then not think about it in terms of like it's going to be a lot like thinking about it maybe about the fact that it's not going to be easy because you're playing a character that a lot of people are not going to like at all like at all yeah 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 that for sure so on the first on the one hand, it was like all the the moral decisions, like do I want to do this? Do I want to present myself to the world playing this bad person? Mm -hmm. uh, that was one thing, and the other thing was like to actual to actually like prepare this character because uh, it was I mean I mean it was I got nothing to do with him like in terms of violence or anything like I got nothing yeah uh, of this in myself so. During the audition, I had to talk with a lot of friends of mine, like woman friends, and they got to they got to tell me like their stories, like some of them sadly their abusive stories. Yeah. So I learned a lot, and actually, like I remember like a specific s scenes they 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 tell me uh, specific uh, things yep. that I recall it during the audition, like to to got the energy turned crazy. And well, apparently it worked. So yeah, and after like working with my coach, like to reach these levels of yeah, of violence and stuff. Well, you know, one of the things about Elite is, and it's it's one of the most popular shows around the world. But there are many 
episodes over the past like six seasons, season seven coming out in October, that are not easy to watch at times. It's like difficult, yeah. difficult subject matter. Yeah, it is. I mean, and I, I think it's one of the things I like about the show. It's like dynamic they, and it's, it's complicated, yes. Exactly, you know, and they like, they're not, uh, they're willing to, the, the, the writers and stuff, they're willing to get her, their their hands dirty and like mm -hmm. to touch these sensitive um, issues that uh, some of them, they are like, like actual themes of our society mm -hmm. uh, like in the previous season like the 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 old homosexuality in in soccer yeah i th i think it's very interesting to see it on the screen like to to see yes. this topic i mean and to like just to yeah just to put it in front of the of the of the public and to start these conversations and think this is something i like about the lead a part of the the success and the shininess and all the glamorous stuff, but I like that the topics they they try to they try to show. I'm curious if, like, because there's you've 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 worked on other projects before Elite as well, different characters, different types of shows. But is it all storytelling for you, like mindset preparation wise, or like did it feel different playing Raul on Elite compared to other things you've done specifically? Because they're all different characters, but it's all like storytelling and acting. Mm -hmm. Did it feel um, different with Elite? But uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you mean by like, like... Mind, so like preparation, right? You prepare for the roles and everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I feel like there's these actors like yourself that are able to play all these different characters and everything, but then the preparation might be similar every time and like going to set and like waiting and, and and like doing it right but like did it feel different playing raul compared to other projects you've done in the past um in terms of uh of acting like yeah. uh yes i had like to go like deeper with my coach like hmm. to because I, I i remember uh saying to him like no, he was the the coach was telling me go harder, harder, like more violent, more violent. I said like more. I mean, for me, this is like the the like the limit, like the. But apparently, not like I had to go like stronger, higher, louder, and yes. Um, when I'm working with my with my mostly in the sixth season with uh, Sara, mm -hmm. uh who's the 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 girlfriend of Raúl. I mean, sometimes you you gotta be like strong and remember that you are acting and of course we are actors and we get along so well and we talked about this a lot but when you are acting like you are mistreating this person in front of you and you got to stick to the character and uh, yeah sometimes it's hard uh, it's yeah uh, but once i finish the scene like i forget about everything we go have like a drink or yeah. a beer just to prepare for the next day so yeah, uh, it's challenging, but that's the kind of challenge I like. Oh, a hundred percent. And I do find it interesting. I, I'm just curious because obviously, you know, we're, 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 we're not saying much about season seven and everything, but mm -hmm. I'm just curious because, you know, the, the storylines with like, Raul are very tough to watch. He's an abuser. It's going to be emotional doing those scenes when you rap all your stuff for season seven of elite. What was that yeah. feeling like? Was, were you very like emotional? Were you exhausted or was it just kind of like, okay, like I'm ready for the next project that pushed me. What's the next one? Like, what was it like when you wrapped the show? Well, first of all, I was like very uh, excited uh, and nervous because uh, it was going to be the first time that they, they're going to watch Raul. So I was like very like waiting for that to happen, like to 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 the show be released and stuff. And like I had like this, uh, this the next season uh, like to film. So I was like, yeah, trying to just enjoy the, the summer and get ready for the next season. So I was like more like liberated and like really enjoy my vacations for because yeah. i had like a next season and also like fucking like <laughs> eating my nails because uh <laughs> well it's gonna be 
crazy because you do you film you do your stuff then mm-hmm. you play the waiting game and then october 20 if it's out of your hands it's in the world's hands exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> the waiting the waiting game is the worst i mean I, i don't know how to wait i don't know how to be quiet i don't know how to be like yeah yeah obviously acting is something you're focusing on but i feel like storytelling is also going behind the camera and alex pastrana you know acts and everything do, but you do you also have kind of interest directing producing going behind the camera as well or is acting the thing you're focusing on the most actually i do have this uh this willing to to this will to direct some some day soon yep uh actually the the books i'm reading now are are all about script yep but to be honest this is the 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 part where i'm struggling the most because i'm not like i don't want to be a writer i just I just want to direct, but I feel like uh, for the first projects, it's easier when you write. You do it. Direct. You do. I feel like you just get thrown in, and you no matter what. Like I also like I, I write as well, and then you end up also really? producing. Yeah, I I have a short film that I I um I actually wrapped uh, in May, which is pretty cool. Um, oh really? I want to watch that. Yeah, ho- sure. hopefully soon. Yeah, absolutely. But like, it's cool. It's 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 cool because you go in and uh, like you you rap, and then you have this movie that's done. And you think about the fact that because it's an indie film, it's a it's a it's a low budget film. You are doing all these things because you know yeah, you, you have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's something I like, like uh, that I would love to do, like to be involved and to learn uh, about everything. Yep. But gosh, I mean, what? I mean, writing for me is just like a whole different thing like i know it's it's uh, so crazy the writing on elite is so the writing on elite is so good by the way can we just say that the writing on that show is so good yeah yeah i mean it works it works it definitely works it's it's dynamic and yes the the fan base the global like netflix is available in over 90 countries we know that we know when something drops on netflix especially when it's a worldwide release right everyone's got access to it but when Elite comes on Netflix, man, it hits so big. Like, I see it after every season. Like, people are talking about it for, like, three, four months. You know what I mean? Afterwards. And it's, like, fans from all around the world. Like, are you getting prepared a little bit for getting all those, you know, all that, the the, the reception from, like, all around the world? Like, that's a crazy thing to think about. Yeah, well, actually, we don't get that much preparation like we have like <laughs> as a one, one meeting like th- through zoom where they uh they tell us something with this uh powerpoint slides about what what to do what to not do but i mean I've, compared to all the success that it has like uh yeah i don't i don't know i don't feel like you can prepare for it i feel like you, you just can. got you, you... <laughs> you definitely can <laughs> but I gotta tell you, like uh, elite fans are are like very very nice people. They always have like the best comments. They're they, very quick too. They're quick. They're very quick. They're very quick. They know everything before it happens. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, they can be the new the new writers if they want. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they always showing us the a lot of love and yeah, it's we don't want to get anyone in trouble or anything. October twentieth is season seven of Elite. It's gonna drop worldwide on Netflix. I mean, all we can say, I guess, is that you know, Elite has a lot of drama, and season uh-huh. seven is gonna have a lot of drama, right, Alex? Yes, that's that's for sure. That has that's hundred percent. Is there anything else we could say? I mean, we're gonna see <laughs> Raul. <laughs> we're gonna see Raul. Um, uh, I don't know if it's a spoiler. I like do you like watching? Because you're a big movie and TV guy too, right? Like you enjoy watching a lot of things. Like, do you? Yeah. I like going in fresh. I don't know if you agree with me on that. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. I I don't even watch uh trailers anymore. Oh for... yeah, I don't even watch trailers anymore either because no, no. I just go in. It's the best feeling though. You know nothing about something, and you just go mm-hmm. in, and you're like, what a pleasant surprise. You know, that's the best, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes in some trailers, they told you everything. Yeah, it feels like you watched the movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but well, I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, but Raul is going to get darker than he already is. So oh my God, that, and that's very tough to hear because he already was... He was bad. Well, he can be even worse. Oh, my goodness. 
All right. Well, October 20th, uh, that's going to be uh, season seven of the Leeds Worldwide on Netflix. Alex, so great chatting with you. Thank you so much for your time, man. No, man, my pleasure. My pleasure. I was super excited when they told me that I was talking to you. Oh, that's uh, that means a lot. So, yeah, they could check that out. Um, Your Instagram account, I think, is the best way for people to keep a, uh, keep up to date with everything. Right. Is it just your name? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Alex Pastrana. Okay, perfect. So I can check that out. Awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turn. If you do.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes, you can, of course, catch Alex Pastrana as Raul in season seven of Elite coming to Netflix worldwide October 20th. Until next time, this is Alex and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.